Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> there good morning YouTube family today we are doing a food video oh my god the long-awaited food videos oh. hair <laughs> your cute little face giving me love this morning oh hi nugget hi nuggies I haven't eaten yet. I got ready this morning and I've just been kind of taking my time because I haven't had to rush anywhere. We're gonna do some eggs and some fruits. Probably put some veggies with those eggs. All right, so we're just gonna do a tr traditional <laughs> egg white omelet. And all I'm gonna do is season it with some salt, some pepper, some garlic, the usual. Um, I found some zucchini. Whoa! Oh, dog in my way! I almost tripped over you! So I found some mushrooms, some sauteed mushrooms that I had already cooked. Oh, sorry, I'll be prepped. And some zucchini. So I'll probably just, some fresh zucchini. I'll probably just throw that in with my omelet. Almond oil for my omelet. All right, so I got my zucchini in there with the mushrooms and then salt, pepper, and garlic. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go over something that's really important that a lot of us don't realize is, okay, I've got some options here. This is dried cranberries. This is dried currants. And I have dried blueberries. Now, I used to eat the crap out of dried fruit. Dried fruit is good. Mangoes, all of that. It's good as a snack. It's good in moderation, but I used to eat a lot of that instead of fresh fruit. The thing about dried fruits, it's like concentrated sugar. It, because of the process it goes through, it kind of loses it, a lot of its nutrients. You think about it, it's a lot of concentrated sugar. I found switching from dried fruits to my fresh fruits, which I eat a lot of fresh fruits, carbs and sugars right there guys. Because I am limiting a lot of my carb intake now and the carbs I am limiting are processed carbs. My, my choices are a lot more slim when it comes to sticking with more raw like carb sources. That's like potatoes, rice, beans, um, quinoa, oatmeal sometimes. I'm switching from like box stuff or you know packaged things like rice cakes and breads and tortillas and cereals. Things like that I've just eliminated from my diet. It's been out of my diet for almost two months now and I've actually been fine. It's just about replacing a lot of what I was doing before with the more raw. The way I kind of look at it, you hear about it all the time, is like the caveman diet. <laughs> Basically if you can grow it, you can harvest it, that's how I'm eating it. Got my little almond already. Mmm, it looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Why I am doing my diet the way I am now. You know, for a while, you know, I was really like macros, like flexible dieting, and I was just all about like having like all of my cheese and treats and all that stuff and fitting it in. Well, there is nothing wrong with that. If you're currently doing that, go for it. You love it. Do it. I still personally coach majority of my clients on flexible dieting. Now the, the nice thing about the flexible dieting, especially for beginners, is it helps to establish better relationship with food and it helps keep you on track. And it also, <laughs> can you see the steam? <laughs> and it also, and it helps those who have, who are kind of lost in where and how to eat properly and eat balanced, I think macros and counting is a great way to start. I, I mean, that's how I started and it's kind of brought me to where I am now. But don't think I'm like knocking macro counting macros or that, you know, just because I'm not doing it anymore because I still do in somewhat of an aspect, but just not as like as adamant and, and on point as I was before. Now, a lot of you know I had an injury about two months ago. It was my neck injury. Um, I got a pinched nerve and because of the inflammation and all that, that's when I cut out all that processed food because I didn't want to create more inflammation in my body. I just wanted to heal. I wanted to eat whole nutrient dense foods. I was just looking at the health aspect of it. And that's how I 
I am still currently doing that. I'm I'm 100%, I'm back to normal, I'm good to go. But I just kind of carried that mentality even after I healed and after I got better. I'm more looking at the health part of the diet than so much the palate part of it. Since I've changed everything, cut out the processed food, and I've just been sticking with the really, the whole nutrient dense foods, the raw diet, you know, having a lot more fruit in my diet, a lot more vegetables. Before I was, wasn't eating a lot of fruit because I was getting a lot of my sugar from my cheats. <laughs> now that I have way more fruits, I found in this entire time that since I've changed my diet that I have not had cravings for any of that stuff. My donuts, my candy, any of that stuff that I was eating before, I haven't had cravings for at all. It blows my mind, but it just goes to show you that so much of this processed food gets you addicted to it. And then you think you have to have it when you really don't. Depending on what it is you're eating, the sugars, the chemical breakdown in some of these processed foods, it's in making imbalances in your body and so then your body thinks it needs this but it really doesn't it actually just needs a whole food whole food that is the biggest reason why i've changed everything and why i've stuck with it i physically feel amazing since i made all those changes i don't feel like as lethargic i don't feel as slow i think more clearly i have way more natural energy i sleep better and the nice thing is, is i don't have those cravings so i'm not like constantly like oh my god i want to eat that but i can't because i've filled up these macros i don't have the cravings i just eat what i'm feeling and i'm good to go it's intuitive eating so now i never really I never went into intuitive eating because I was thinking if I did, I would just eat all the bad food all the time. Well, when it comes to intuitive eating, it comes out, it, it just comes to eating whole nutrient dense raw food. And that's what it is when it comes to intuitive eating. It's not eat, intuitive eating of all these like processed food and stuff like that because if, if you were intuitive eating with that, you probably eat more than you should. <laughs> I have been doing more intuitive eating now than I ever, ever have as long as I can remember. Intuitive eating is basically you're just eating till you're full. You're just eating what you what what sounds good to you. So like when I made this omelet, a whole egg would have been great in it. Yeah, but I wasn't feeling the whole I just the thought of it, just the sound of it, just the taste in there, it didn't sound good to me. But I felt like putting mushrooms and zucchini in there, you know, things like that. I don't count my macros at all. I still have them for the last two months. I still prep my meals, but when I prep them, I usually prep them the night before and it's what sounds good to me. So I'll throw it in there, just kind of throw things together and I don't measure. I actually kind of, my proteins, I think more than anything, I I eye it, eye it and I'm so used to what like four ounces and five ounces and six ounces are that I just, I kind of know but I'll just kind of like take a handful and put it in there. <laughs> but I've been enjoying it and it's been nice not to have to like count numbers because you know, I've been doing this for a long time, you guys, so sometimes taking a break is nice. If you're just starting out, count the numbers. Trust me, it's gonna help you because when I first started out counting the numbers, it helped me a lot to get to where I am today because I eat a lot of vegetables, guys, like a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruit. It keeps me full and it keeps me satisfied. And I just want to, I just want to feel good. I want to, you know, look good and healthy. And obviously, obviously it shows <laughs> is what I've been doing. It, it shows physically and, you know, mentally. <laughs> I mean, I've always been like, hee hee. Obviously my body has just dropped a lot of body fat because I just cut out all this processed stuff. Now for a woman, because of our hormones and because of our, and then the estrogen, a lot of these processed stuff, I've talked about this before in many of my videos, a lot of processed stuff will raise, will increase estrogen, increase estrogen will cause you to hold on to weight, especially in your midsection. Mm -hmm. See, this is good. What's your key name? mushrooms guys I just got my lashes done again they they were due they needed some help I packed so we got turkey we got cucumber and we've got tomato I, I packed this other container it is with rice and then uh, black beans and corn so now I cook all those from bulk like scratch I didn't buy pre-made stuff so I cooked all that myself and the the rice is just with like chili pepper uh, garlic 
paprika, salt, pepper. I'll have some of that turkey and cucumber and then I'll have some of this. So right here, this is carbs. So black beans, carbs, and protein, and fiber. Mmm, like it. And then of course I have a whole thing of fruit here. I gotta train tonight, so Muay Thai! Muay Thai training! So I'm only gonna eat like half of it if I'm only feeling half of it. I'm not gonna like force myself to eat the whole thing. Again, intuitive eating. I'm just eating till I feel satisfied and that's it. You guys just got finished at Costco. And keep in mind, some of these items are for Zach and some of them I don't eat or I might maybe feeling like a cheat night. Like I still do that. I still have one night where I kind of splurge just a little bit, just because. We've got sweet potatoes. We've got just a bunch of potatoes, so I would eat these. These are the golden and red potatoes in here. Uh, pineapple, and then we've got regular bacon and turkey bacon. So Zach will have these. Um, maybe every once in a while I might have this. Uh, ground bison, chicken, Zach loves his cheese. Uh, whole eggs, Zach's favorite as well. We've got chicken apple sausage and salsa, ground turkey, cottage cheese. Oh, and then also this classical, like classic two, just um, tomato and herbs and spices. So a lot of you are probably gonna make mention of my packaged meats. That is one thing that I am buying that is packaged, that is processed. I still like my protein, I still like my chicken, my eggs, I like my turkey, I like my bison. I know a lot of you <laughs> say go vegan, but you know, I haven't gotten to that point yet. You never know. You never know. I mean, I obviously I've changed a lot of things recently, so you never know what can happen in the future, but I still do like my proteins. Fortunately, unless you're raising your own animals, you have to buy your meats that way. Or if you do go, or if you do buy it from a farm or something like that, um, meat tends to be, in those cases, tend to be really, really expensive uh, in the amount that me and Zach eat. <laughs> <laughs> I would be spending uh, that much on meat that I could be spending on all my groceries. So, you know, you kind of find ha have to find a balance. You have to kind of find, you know, what works for you. Uh, some people will just cut out meat, and that's fine. Each to their own. Whatever makes you happy, whatever you want to do for you, that's what you should do. And that's, you know, what I'm doing for me. You guys are just following my journey. I'm not telling anyone to do anything. <laughs> specific you guys ask questions so I just share them with you but yes I do still have to buy uh, packaged meats <laughs> but majority of the other stuff is I'm focusing on not packaged <laughs> just finished at Whole Foods tomatoes strawberries and then Zach loves his cheese again so I got some cheese slices I also got some spinach pasta avocados, bell peppers, mushrooms, wild shrimp, I always buy wild, and this is wild, scallops, asparagus, <laughs> banana, uh, the protein bread here for Zach, cucumber, and goat cheese crumbles. Finished shopping. Whew, takes it out of you. Stuff I already had pre-cooked, so I just threw it together because it was quick. Um, but we've got chicken, uh, mushrooms, and fresh raw zucchini. It's not cooked zucchini, which is actually not that bad. It's not bad at all. A lot of people might think raw. Uh, because cooking it, obviously, you know, water comes out of it. You can sometimes cook out a lot of the nutrients and vitamins, all the minerals, all that stuff in there. So I like to eat as raw as possible so you can preserve as many nutrients as possible to get into your body. I already ate some, most of my, some of my fruit. I'm gonna eat more right before because I'm gonna head to the gym. I'll see you guys after training. <gasps> Just finished training. I am beat. Tired. I am having a protein shake right after the training. So I still do whey protein. Yes, I still do that because I like the quick absorbing. I already ate all my, all my carbs. My my beans and stuff. I'll have another meal when I get home, so we'll make that. All right, guys, change of plans. Creepy! Little nugget, stop! You hear crew back there? So change of plans tonight. I'm not going home to make dinner. Uh, it is my little sister's birthday, and I didn't know she was going to be in town. I didn't think she was going to be in town, so she's at Mama Bun's house. So I'm coming up to Mama Bun's house, and we're going to have dinner. So I'm going to show you what we're making and what we're gonna eat. I didn't bring all the dogs because all three of them sometimes are a handful. So the one that has always has to be crated while we're gone is the one I brought. So you didn't have to be in the crate the whole time we were gone. <laughs> in there. Happy birthday! Hi. Happy birthday, Mandy! Oh! 
going on down here? What's up? What's up? Oh, so great. So great. Oh, oh my god. Say happy, happy birthday, birthday everybody. To it's a little buns. Little buns. How old are you now? 26. 26! Seven more years Such a baby. I thought I really. It's just, this is crazy. I thought I was turning 27. I forgot my own age. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, nephew. Okay, why why is there <laughs> stuff coming out the side of it? Is that supposed to be a bleeding anus? Ooh. <laughs> Good bite out of it, and the mom was like, <laughs> she stuck them in so there. So that was Mama Bun's idea. Mom, you have a bleeding anus cake over here. No, it was not. <laughs> We like messing with her. <laughs> Alright, let's do the breakdown of what we got over here. Tomatoes, bell pepper, mushroom, avocado, cauliflower, I almost forgot that one, and broccoli, olives, and you're cooking what over here? Chili. Chili. And then there's taters. Oh. And then we've got baked taters. Ew, I don't like olives. Mm, I love olives. You don't like olives? No. No. Okay, so this is the process we're doing first. You cut up the potato. Now Katie's putting butter. Butter on there. Katie's doing no cheese because... Lactarded. She's lactarded. She's gonna put some beans you on there. Lactose intolerant people understand the pain. Mm -hmm. Chili! More chili. beans. Put chili on there. Going for I got it. Next layer is some. Oh, we forgot the onions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Cauliflower. Yes, she does. Why don't you Why like the olives? olives. <laughs> Bell pepper. Avocado. <laughs> yeah, See you have big it gets. Yeah, look at the sun. All the there. veggies, though. I'm oh, sorry. So that's, that's with the melted cheese <laughs> and butter. Everybody's loading up their loaded potato. Really, crew? Do you, do you have to be right here, crew? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm kidding, kidding. I just appreciate. No, loaded big potato. Loaded And that's the Heward family for ya. <laughs> Did you see my Snapchat from today? Mom. <laughs> Look at these loaded potatoes. You guys are getting down. See the finished product. Woo! Yeah. Look at that fake potato. Nom nom. So there's salsa and sour cream on top. Yeah. All right, this is what I'm starting with. Potato, <laughs> salt and pepper. I'm not gonna put butter on it or cheese. All right, so I loaded it up with veggies and no chili and salsa. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Tasty, <laughs> tasty. We got weirdo way over there, just talking to herself all the time. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna put black beans on there. Beans, more oh, beans. Look, I got the fork that was thrown in the fire. Kind of cool, rustic looking. Is that cool, Susie? There's two of them. I think so. Rustic. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday uh, to you. And now we're going to be here, Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to eat you. Then <gasps> you just take a bite like that one video. <laughs> Oh, German chocolate cake. Sissy wants them. <laughs> Crew, you're the ladies' man, aren't you? We're just all chilling. I got the fireplace behind me. Same one, but a fireplace. Crew. Oh.